It, it's a tray flip nose blunt. Three sixty flip nose blunt. For three sixty flip nose blunt, this was honestly I don't even know why I did this with as soon as I filmed the test shoes, Tyshawn Jones shoes, I literally finished that video right then and continued skating around the park. That trick got away from me like a day before and I was just thinking about it. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. These shoes were so stiff that it made it a little bit more challenging, but you know what? It's good to challenge yourself sometimes because you're you're testing the boundaries what of what you can do. So the only thing I was having trouble with was actually flicking it and landing in it. Sometimes it wouldn't even flick in, it would just fly and fling over, which was crazy to me. But 
I got it to the to a few of them where I landed it. To be honest, the one I landed was retarded. But you know what? I'll take it. It's a tray flip nose blunt. I'm of course I'm gonna continue doing them and bettering myself at them. But you know what? You can be as hard as you want on me <laughs> if you you could say redo. That was gross. But you know what? It's a tray flip nose blunt. Like, I don't even do no regular nose blunts on rails or ledges enough. Maybe I should start doing them enough. But, I saw someone say tray flip nose slide, which I also got. And I figured tray flip nose blunt is the next step. And it was actually easier to lock in when it actually flipped in. Unlike tray flip nose slide, that would hit the ledge and not let me get in. I had to figure that out a different way. So... Tray flip nose blunt success we got it out of the way everyone thank you for watching this video like subscribe and till the next trick challenge sign out till the next time